Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. Last episode, we defeated Leviathan and Anahita, as well as Astrum Arias. Got a few new cool weapons, and in between episodes, I farmed up some gold and bought some treasure bags, and we got this Nebulash. It's pretty cool looking. I love all of the particle effects that are coming off of it. So I want to start off this episode by doing a solar eclipse. We haven't done any of these yet be pretty good. Uh-oh. I got so many enemies. I really like this weapon though. It's quite fun. I'm doing so much damage to these guys. Ooh, we got our moonstone. Excellent. So I'm looking for a deathsicle and anything else like Maybe some drops from the moth runs. The only problem with this weapon right here is it launches enemies. The knockback is so insane on it. Like, look at that. It just shoots them all the way across. Ooh, a broken hero sword. Could always use some of those. Ooh, I just got it. I just got the death sickle. Yes! I totally forgot about Zerg potions. Once when I remembered, I got the Desicle almost instantly. Oh my goodness. Some craziness here. Okay, we gotta turn this off. Um, where's Zerg? Okay, there we go. Oh, another vesicle. So for items that are useful to me, we've got a bunch of broken hero swords, vesicle, a bunch of moonstones, um, the Eye of Cthulhu, and a Psycho Knife, which I think that upgrades later into uh, this one. It's pretty powerful. Okay, there's our first Plague Cell canister. So we're looking for all these Plague Cell enemies. So far, we haven't been seeing a lot of them spawn. We need a bunch of those canisters though so that we can craft the soul scythe I think is what it's called and then we also need it for just crafting the spawn for the boss although I see a plantera spawn right here so let's just try that out figure we might as well get some living shards shouldn't be too bad honestly plantera is still a bit tanky even with all of our new weapons There we go. So I've gone ahead and used a Zerg, and I'm on the surface. I've weirdly not been seeing as many of the infected plating enemies as I normally do. Getting a few of them here and there, though. Tons of turtles, my goodness. Okay, I think it's time to turn off Zerg. We've done plenty of fighting here. Now we'll just pick up our loot, and I think we're good to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have so many giant tortoise shells. We have somehow like 10 of these and two turtle shells. It's kind of weird. There it is, the soul harvester. Perfect. And we can craft the abomination. Oh, and this is the porta bulb. I had totally forgotten about this when I was saying that I was having a hard time finding bulbs. Apparently you can just craft this. It's trapper bulbs, vines, all this other stuff. So that would have been very handy. Ooh, this looks really cool. I just want to see how this goes, just to get a general gauge. I don't think we're going to win our first try, as soon as though we don't even have an arena. I think this boss used to enrage above ground, but I'm not sure if that's still a thing. Okay, this is going all right. Honestly, it seems like having these projectiles all over the arena is quite handy for destroying some of the boss's projectiles. Oh, 
Okay, this isn't that bad. We're getting pretty far just on our first try. Okay, that was not bad. I think we got maybe to like 30% or 25%. I think if I put down an arena, we'll be just fine. So I may have gone a little overkill on this arena, but we've got one now and it's ultra flat. Should work pretty well for us. Okay, that did not go nearly as well as last time. Oh my goodness. Nope. What are you doing, Rito? No, we were so close. Literally, if the boss would have gone the other direction, we would have killed it with some of the remaining scythes. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, we did it. Yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult. Ooh, we got the Malachite, our first try. Excellent, that's a pretty rare drop, unless they changed the drop rate on that. Ooh, we have a true melee weapon. Ooh, this is cool. Spear. These true melee weapons are so powerful sometimes. But most importantly, we got some armored plating. I think that was the most fun I've had fighting the Plaguebringer Goliath because I'm finally getting a hang of the boss fight. Like I'm learning when the boss pauses and she's right beside you, she's gonna dash side to side. But if she pauses right below you or right above you, then she's gonna dash in the other directions. And I feel like the dashes were the thing that always threw me off. I find that with Calamity, a lot of times like the more you learn the bosses, the more fun the bosses become. Okay, here it is. True Forbidden Oath Blade. Whoa, this looks cool. It splits. So I finally found our little Sea King. So we can buy a few Truffle Worms. They're pretty cheap. I'll buy a whole bunch. And now we can go fight Duke Fish Run. So let's give this a try. I'm hoping our Soul Scythe will do pretty well against this boss. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, good old Duke Fishron. This is gonna be bad. Death mode Duke is very challenging for me. Luckily, these scythes are really nice. They just keep the arena covered in damage. So all his little bubbles and all that stuff just immediately get destroyed. 
Okay, we're into the second phase. It's moving pretty quick here. Oh boy. I am getting a little nervous here. Oh no, took two hits in a row. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for Duke Fish Run. I could see the health. I don't know how close I got to defeating him there. Instead of fighting Duke Fish Run, let's try the Empress of Light, see how it goes. Uh oh. Oh man, I forgot how this boss <laughs> works. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Um. Oh my gosh, no. I don't even know which weapon I'm supposed to be using. Yeah, I am really not remembering this boss. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot what that boss was. Oh man, I don't know which boss to fight right now. So I might try Astrum Diaz instead. It'd be pretty sweet to defeat Astrum Diaz this early. I've heard this spear can be really good against it. So we just need to kind of sit next to it, I guess, and do the damage. Oh my goodness, that was really good. Yeah, some people had mentioned it in the comments. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Let's try this weapon, though. I just want to try kind of all my weapons and see. Whoa, this one's doing really well, too. And this one allows me to keep a little bit more distance, which is kind of nice. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I need to zoom out on this. There we go. Uh-oh. Not good. <laughs> at the same time. Oh my goodness, there's so much happening on this fight right now. so close. Whoa, I went between the lasers there. That was pretty lucky.
Oh my goodness, did I just do it? <laughs> yes, I did it. I did it. This hammer thing is amazing for that boss. Whoa, I did not think I was going to be able to get that. Okay, that is exciting. So we've got Stellar Knife. I don't think that's from the boss. We have Solar, Vortex, Stardust, and Nebula Fragments. And then we've got the boss bag. Ooh, we have a melee weapon. It's a yo-yo. I just realized, though, I might be able to mine that Astral Ore. Lots of Astral Ore. Oh man, unfortunately we can't craft anything out of Astral stuff until we've defeated the Lunatic Cultist and get the Ancient Manipulator. So we'll have to wait on that for just a little bit. Well, I think that's a great place to end this episode. We defeated two very difficult bosses, the Plaguebringer Goliath as well as Astrum Diaz. And next episode, I think we may just go right into fighting the Lunatic Cultists and getting the Lunar Events going. Maybe we'll do the Ravager and then probably circle back to Duke Fishron and the Empress of Light. So lots of good stuff is coming up. We're getting pretty close to post Moon Lord content. So that'll be a lot of fun. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episodes. I also have lots of other videos that you can watch. I've got different series for pretty much every class in Calamity and several classes in other content mods. So be sure to check all that out if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.